Hey everybody, video here for you today, and this is by request, and I thought it was a good suggestion since I looked into it. I haven't talked about this place for a long time. I've showed it, but I haven't talked about it in an individual video. We are going down to Abu Ghraib, or Abu Ghraib today, right here. The site of Abu Ghraib is just north of Abu Sir and was probably a part of that pyramid field. There are ruins between the two places. They were probably all one place. Way back in time. Here is the Sun Temple of Nasiri at Abu Ghraib or Abu Ghraib. I'm not sure the exact pronunciation. Anubis Canine Facility right nearby. This is kind of a mysterious place. These are pretty unique ruins in Egypt, perfectly aligned to north south, just to the north of it, a first dynasty necropolis. And you put in a necropolis around an ancient structure in the first dynasty. What structure did they view as ancient and sacred for their necropolis, I wonder? Burials stopped out here about the 5th dynasty. They say the Sun Temple was built by Nisiri in the 5th dynasty. There are a few things that appear under the sand that I wonder. There are buried structures out here. Right there is one of them. Right there. They say there are six Sun Temples and only two of them have been excavated in Egypt. Here's a diagram done over 100 years ago at the pyramids at Abu Sir. The temple at Abu Ghraib up here on the far right, all part of the same plan or the same place a long time ago. Notice these fifth dynasty kings who are associated with these small pyramids here all have Ra in their last name. It was all about the sun. Here are some ruins at Abu Ghraib. These basins are a big mystery. We'll get a better look at those in a second here. But here are the pyramids of Abu Sir in the background coming from, they say, the 5th dynasty, one dynasty after the Great Pyramids were built. Here are the Abu Sir pyramids, kings of the 5th dynasty supposedly built these. One dynasty before, in the 4th dynasty, they were supposedly building the greatest monuments on Earth. Here's a diagram from Maspero coming from over 100 years ago. This is his view on how this place originally looked. It really doesn't look like any other ruins we see in Egypt. Kind of a mini obelisk here, aligned to the cardinal points on top. And when I look at this, one thing pops into my mind, especially this structure below here with the obelisk on top. Is that what they intended for Maydoom? That's what I wonder about. Here's a look. This is from Ben's website, Uncharted X. We were chatting about this place this morning. He offered the use of his picks. I always appreciate that. Now here are those massive alabaster tubs. And I asked Ben again, we talked about this in a video about a year ago, what we thought these were. And that one makes a good mystery when you really don't have any good explanation. There are like basins or tubs here. There are holes cut in those. I'm gonna include a little bit from a video we made a year ago so you can get a real good look at those. But what are these? What was their purpose? That's a good mystery there. Here's another look. and. You see the holes on the outside? I mean, it almost seems like some kind of cog to a machine. Why would they have these holes on the outside like that? Uh, ancient Egypt is pretty weird and mysterious, I'll tell you that. Here's another up-close look. I want to thank Ben for allowing me to use these picks. We still don't know a good explanation for these. I asked him about that earlier. I want to know if he had come up with anything in the last year on these, and really it's a big mystery. These were moved, kind of lined up to where they sit today, so the original position of these is unknown. Also, Ben, hope your ankle's feeling better. I didn't tell you that earlier. Here's another look at these basins. Why alabaster? Why the holes kind of up in the middle here? We'll have a good look at those. I know Luke from Enigmas of an Ancient World made a video down here. He is Ben's old partner from Pukajay. So if you want to check out Enigma of the Ancient World, he makes some very good videos too. Luke over there. Here you see where these sit, the ruins of the Sun Temple right there, and then the basins lined up, not in their original position. So that doesn't help as far as what these were originally. But a big mystery, that is for sure. Looks like that is Yusuf right there. Here is Ben on what they call an altar at the site, maybe for lack of a better word for it. 
made of alabaster here, big circular stone in the middle, line to the cardinal points here, maybe something mysterious underneath it. Here's where that object sits. We'll get a little look at that coming up here. But here is the Sun Temple ruins. Seems a really good stonework here at the bottom. Up on top, maybe not so good. Here is a look at it close up. Circular object made of alabaster inside a square opening aligned to the cardinal points. Here's some evidence of some ancient drilling at the site here. Here's another look from the site. These appear a little bit different than the ones I just showed, but certainly a mystery here coming from Abu Ghraib here at sunset. I want to thank Ben for these pics. Now let's just look at a video clip we made during a, about an hour long video we made a year ago. This clip starts off right by Abu Ghraib at Abu Sir, these small pyramids here. And I asked Ben if it, he just feels like he is walking on top of something when he's walking around up here. The sands of the desert have covered up all these ruins, it seems like, or a lot of them. So I would imagine it just seems in my mind's eye when I see people walking around, it seems like they're walking like on the roofs of places here, but that's what I asked Ben. And this is where the clip starts. Here we go. If you're in a site like uh, Abu Sir, yeah, and you're kind of walking around the ruins, are you kind of under the impression that you are on top of something? That you are walking around on top of something? I yes, because there there is clearly, uh, I and particularly in Abu Sir, because there is there is there's there's absolutely passageways that go down that are completely filled with sand. There's. Okay. There's there there is descending passageways in some of the remnants of what were I think a small pyramid on that side. I've actually got pictures where you go down. There's another area of Abyssinia that has some water in in a in a descending passageway that goes down. There is uh, an entire it's all open air now, but it was all an underground um, structure that has big old boxes and you know perfect precision granite sure. boxes in it. But yeah, I, I do. I, I th I, that's what it feels like. And certainly, you're walking on the on on basalt floors and things, and it feels, you know, like Saqqara and Giza. There's, there's. It seems quite likely that there is uh there is stuff that's underneath the sand here. I think it was when you were in Abu Sir. Yeah. And it just seemed like everything around you. It just looked to me like, God. I wonder if they feel like they're just on top of some. That's just the way it looked to me out of my mind's eye. Yeah. Well, and so there's a rumor. There was there's the sister site to Abu Sir quite nearby is uh, Abu Jarab, and yes. this is a sun. This isn't even a pyramid; it's a sun temple site. Was supposedly the base for one of the biggest obelisks in the place. But there is this. There is an Abu Jarab. It's much smaller than Abu Sir, right nearby, and absolutely just. But it, it contains some of the most amazing um, artifacts that I've ever seen in Egypt. So not only has it got those really mysterious crystal. Uh, bowls, I mean, uh, bowls, they're alabaster, the alabaster, alabaster yeah. quartz, whatever. Um, amazing bowls, but it has this huge hotep that is all made from alabaster as well. And in the center of this hotep is this huge circular plug that's got to be a meter or two across in, in, in the center. You can lay down on it, and this is a real weird, it's an interesting feeling to lay down there at sunset and just lay on top of this thing that's immeasurably ancient. And it's clearly precision engineered. There are tubular hole drill marks in this object there are there are circular saw and and you know real straight cuts and the, the surfaces have been cut but some a story that yusuf always told me is that is that that giant circular plug on top of that hotep is actually the entrance to a tunnel system that oh, wow. runs underneath that whole area um and that 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 was for whatever reason but that's um, why that's on top of that he's he's not sure but that's that's the that's what he told me about it now those big alabaster i don't even know what the description of them but they're yeah. like tubs yeah cogs at almost, yeah. now the standard line on those is they are basins where animals were sacrificed and <laughs> holes let the blood drain out i thought that was a little strange yeah it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me because you're right they do have holes in them that that would not let the bowls fill up very much if because you have these like four inch again straight precision cut holes in the side of these blocks and and a very strange pattern on them i mean it's these they almost look like cogs to me these giant cogs i know when i put this video together i'll definitely put some footage of these in here um that yeah it's a very strange design they're, they're cut out of these giant square blocks of of alabaster 
uh, and there's a, they've all been moved around on the site. They, I think they were trying to take them to a museum and then decided they were too heavy, so they just left them out at, at, uh, at Abu Dhabi. But there's a whole bunch of them. There's also a, a bunch more of them around the side of the, the base for the obelisk, which, and these aren't quite the same as those. They're, they're more smoother. They don't have the cog-like protrusions on them. They're just round circular bowls, but they do also have um, a drill hole in them. Do you which, know what alabaster represented? To the Egyptians? No. I I did some reading where I know red granite represents like fire and limestone represents water. Right. But I just can't remember what alabaster. I know, I mean, the, the fact that they use alabaster has to be significant and yeah. with purpose. I encourage you to check out Ben's website if you think his videos are informative. His website is just chock full of great pics and good information. That's a video on this ancient sun temple. That's what they think was here a long time ago. First dynasty necropolis built right nearby. Why was that? I always get good comments on my videos. I have some smart subs, that's for sure. What do you think these were used for? Some sort of machine, something else? Sacrificing animals and letting the blood drain? That is suggested. I think that is a little ridiculous. Would you have gone through all that trouble for that? What were these notches on the outside with the holes? It's all a big mystery. That's why I'm making this video. That is my video on Abu Jarab down here, just north of Abu Sir, just south of Giza and Zayed al-Aryan. Hope you thought that was informative. And you all have a very safe day.